Africa in oil, and uh, companies that provided uh, computer technology to the security um, agencies of South Africa, and there were multiple security agencies. And the last group are the companies that provided the armored vehicles and the weapons to the apartheid government, the police and the security agencies. We need to stop them. They need to pay for what they have benefited so that our children should not be victims because we are survivors. We don't want to see our children going to the same road or any other country in the world because when they run away from South Africa, they are still going to exploit other people in other countries in the world. Kadalasan sa mga bata dito hindi nag-aaral dahil walang ipaaral yung mga magulang. Tapos kahit mga bata pa sila, nagtitinda na sila ng plastic sa divisorya dahil sa kahirapan. Some areas in Manila is uh, terrible. Uh, houses are congested. Uh, there are no concrete roads, no water services, no light services, and uh, it is also a haven for criminals. Almost uh, one-third of our entire national budget every year since 1986 goes to repayment of uh, foreign debt. Because of this, uh, we have less money left you know, for uh, uh, financing our uh, social services like uh, health you know, for our public hospitals. In our hospital here, you know, many of our uh, resident doctors and physicians sometimes even have to shell out their own uh, money for the medicine of the uh, poor patients no? or, uh, that they need badly for, for their illness. Otherwise, these patients are going to die. Hintuan na yung pangungutang sa ibang bansa, parang itigil na itong ano. Bankers have no morality. They're like lawyers. Their task in life is intermediating risk. They are risk managers. And under that rationale, 
Bankers are the worst prostitutes on earth. martial law in accordance with the powers vested in the president by the constitution of the Philippines. I was arrested by the, the military um, January 14, 1976 and was held for nine years and three months under uh, uh, various uh, military detention centers. I un uh, underwent uh, torture for uh, more than a week, physical and psychological torture, electrocution, uh, karate, chops, and all this, uh, and um, which has harmed my hearing uh, capability. And uh, I was held in uh, solitary confinement for nine months. Uh. Dictator Ferdinand Marcos ruled the Philippines for 20 long years. Marcos placed the country under martial law in 1972. He dissolved the Congress and shut down the media that did not support his regime. During the Marcos dictatorship, 30,000 activists were arrested, imprisoned, and tortured. Thousands were killed or disappeared. A memorial wall has been constructed in Manila honoring Marcus's victims. One of those who was captured was um, William Vincent Begg. So he was brought to the, um, to the military camp where he was heavily tortured. And then finally he was killed in captivity. His, ha his face was slashed and then uh, his fingers were hit by the butt of the barrel of the gun and then was broken. The Philippines today has a foreign debt of 56 billion U.S. dollars. The country finds itself in a hopeless economic situation. This tragic situation is, by and large, a result of the corrupt practices of the Marcos administration. The world knew that Marcos was a brutal dictator. Nevertheless, global financial institutions lined up to lend money to his regime. It was very corrupt. <laughs> Uh, the uh, presidents after him uh, were also corrupt, but uh, in terms of how much uh, he took out of the government coffers and put them, you know, uh, put them in safety in Swiss banks, you know, we, we, we know we know the stories of uh, of those incidents, you know, uh, and left the the country really bankrupt, you know, when he left. The Guinness Book of uh, World Records, no? which, which uh, classified uh, Marcos as one of the world's greatest uh, kleptocrats, no? uh, estimated that uh, between he, he stole between 